My name is Tim Pickup. My project is called Long Exposure Photography, Video and Sculpture. I'm a part-time face-to-face student. I'm interested in concretizing the space passed through by human beings in motion. Many 20th century scientists and artists have attempted to capture human motion, and photography has been particularly successful in this area. In the digital age, we have much greater control over all aspects of image recording, manipulation and rendering. The video you are watching is a study of a woman in motion. Each frame of the video is turned into pixel data and stored in computer memory. A Java program I've written can access these 167 frames and recombine them in any way that I choose. In this particular study, the frames are played back at all possible speeds. First every frame is played, then every other frame, then every third frame, and so on until every 167th frame is played, which will be a still image. The image and video works I produce will serve as studies for my main project, which is digital sculpture. By the end of two years, I hope to create life-size, full-color models of humans in motion, where every bit of space-time passed through is rendered as a continuous 3D sculpture. This will involve 3D animating of human motions, outputting data sets, merging these data sets in 3D modeling software, converting to stereolithographic or alternative formats, printing using rapid prototyping technologies, and finally coloring the sculptures. These processes are just becoming durable and may be financially feasible. Although I'm using many advanced digital techniques, I'm determined that the finished works are physical art pieces in the traditional sense, prints, videos, and sculpture. In terms of content for the pieces, I'm interested in a reading of humans as collections of repetitive processes, breathing, walking, working, etc., contrasted with an absurdist appreciation of human messiness. What is digital art? I have no problem with the term digital. I've been doing that for years. It's the art that I find more problematic. In some ways, I see what I'm doing as a cross between art, programming, and science. For me, the project will work best if I can get all three aspects functioning in concert to produce beautiful diagrams of life.